Hello, it's Jason here from the D4 Clinic again. So today you will be looking uh, at our little video here on insomnia. Now, as most of you know who've been onto the D4 Clinic site before, I'm a psychologist and I specialize in clinical hypnosis. So the session that you've got here is around 20 minutes to help you to go to sleep. Now I'm gonna explain it to you very briefly what we're gonna do. Um, the session you download, never listen to it when you're driving, never listen to it uh, if you've got epilepsy or are on serious psychiatric medication. What I'm gonna do is give you a brief uh, class here on how uh, people sleep and why you're not sleeping maybe. This here has a little chart which we have which shows brain waves, beta wave, alpha wave, theta wave, delta wave. So what happens when people try and go to sleep is they usually get agitated. They start off here in a normal state, they get agitated and they go up to here because they can't get asleep which makes it harder for them to get to sleep. So what I want you to realize is that we're going to know not here, we're going to start you off here when you're trying to go to sleep and we're going to bring you down to here which is a theta wave. And this wave down here is a delta wave. That's when you actually go asleep. So rather than you trying to jump from up here right the way down here by yourself, we're going to bring you from here where you start off to here, which will make it easier to get to here. To show you the way the brain works, it's easier just with these images like this. This is your brain normally. This is your brain under hypnosis and this is your brain under anesthetic so you can see the differences in the brain the activity so what we're going to do is bring you from here down to here which will allow you to go to sleep much much easier um, so this is really really effective in the clinic that's why we've done an audio version of it uh, I'd recommend you download it to your phone put your phone on airplane mode put on the speaker or put on your earphones line the couch line the bed whenever you want to go to sleep put it on it will help you to sleep at the end of the recording I don't wake you up so you'll just drift off down to sleep hopefully if you find that you're not sleeping straight away, just listen to it a couple of times, as often as you need to. You wake up during the night, put it on again. There's no limit to it. Um, if you want to have a nap, if you find that you're highly suggestible to hypnotherapy, I'd recommend maybe you know, setting your alarm for 30 minutes so that when you go to sleep, if you just want to wake up then. But you'll wake up anyway. You won't be stuck in any type of hypnosis. That's all the stuff in movies. What's going to happen is you're just going to allow yourself to relax. You're going to allow yourself to follow my instruction. You're going to allow yourself to drift down to a lovely sleep. And then once you're there, you'll wake up naturally or you'll wake up when your alarm goes off. As I said, if you have any trouble uh, getting to sleep still, uh, look at other factors in your life, not just the hypnosis. That will help. Look at your diet. Look at your sleeping environment, the temperature within your room. Look at a whole variety of bits and pieces like this that will allow us to help you to, to change everything what we call the, the biopsychosocial model. So we want the biology, which is your fitness, your health, your diet, all these type of things that affect your life, your psychology, which would be the hypnotherapy, and then your social life as well, your social side of things as well. If you're out drinking alcohol, drinking loads of Red Bull, uh, watching TV, um, violence on TV or social media until the minute you go to bed, your brain's going to be very active. So I'd recommend an hour before you go to bed, you know, get the room temperature right, get into a calm sort of mindset, uh, maybe have a cup of uh, green tea or chamomile tea, just to calm yourself down a little bit. Keep away from social media and TV, maybe for half an hour, an hour before bed. Make sure you're comfortable in your room, put on the recording and allow yourself to drift down. As always, I'm on the end of the email. If anyone wants to email me, you can get us through the D4 Clinic website uh, if you have any questions. Um, but enjoy your sleep and hopefully this will help you to get a lot, a lot more rest. Thank you. Bye-bye.